The action of a single muscle can be described pretty simply. A muscle is connected to two or more bones by tendons. As the muscle contracts or shortens, it pulls on the tendons which move the bones in relation to one another. In reality, movement is much more complex. Several muscles work together in unison to create a desired movement. They each have different roles in different movements. Let's look at a common exercise, the bench press, and identify the roles of different muscles involved. The primary muscle providing the force behind the movement is known as the agonist. During a bench press, the agonist is the pectoralis major. If you look at where the pectoralis major attaches to bones, its origin and insertion, and the direction of its fibers, you get some idea as to what its function will be. As it contracts, it pulls the arm toward the center of the chest, flexing, adducting, and internally rotating the humerus. This is the main movement behind a bench press. But the pectoralis major has help from other muscles. Synergy is when two or more things work together to accomplish something greater than what they could do alone. The muscles that don't provide the primary force behind the movement but assist the agonist are known as the synergists. One of the synergists in the bench press is the triceps brachii. Once again, when we look at the origin and insertion of the muscle, we can get a pretty good idea of its function. The triceps extends the elbow. Another synergist, the anterior head of the deltoid muscle, helps to flex and internally rotate the shoulder. Stabilizing muscles help to prevent unwanted motion at a joint. During a bench press, the pectoralis major, the anterior deltoid, and the triceps work together to pull the humerus toward the chest and straighten the arm. A group of muscles known collectively as the rotator cuff surround the head of the humerus and help to pull it into the socket, stabilizing the shoulder joint during the forceful movement of the arms and chest during the bench press. While these stabilizing muscles may not contribute much to the force lifting the barbell, they play an important role in movement by preventing the humeral head from slipping out of its socket. Muscles that would create a movement opposite that of our desired movement are known as antagonists. If our agonist pulls the arms toward the chest, our antagonists pull the arm toward the back. Our antagonists while performing a bench press include the latissimus dorsi and the posterior head of the deltoid. The antagonists allow themselves to relax and stretch in length to accommodate the opposing contraction. This is called reciprocal inhibition. It may be tempting to draw the conclusion that the agonists are active while the barbell is being pushed up and the antagonists are active while the barbell is coming down. This is not the case, however. The agonist and its synergists continue to work to slow the descent of the barbell. If the agonists were to relax and the antagonists to contract during a bench press, there would be no force slowing the barbell, and the combined force of gravity and the antagonists would pull the barbell rapidly and violently into the chest. While the agonist and synergists are creating enough force to overcome the weight of the barbell, they shorten and push the weight up. This is known as a concentric contraction. As the agonists and synergists relax enough to allow the weight to come down, they lengthen but are still working to prevent the weight from falling too quickly. This is known as an eccentric contraction.